Here we are in the set up a computer lab, and this will give you a good idea of how interactive our labs are. First, I want to show you some of the views that you have in the lab. So we're at the front view of the computer. You can turn the computer around and look at the back view of the computer. You can also open up the computer and take a look at the motherboard view of the computer and see all of the motherboard components and the hard drives and the power supply that are there. And with the newer computer cases, the three and a half inch bay is saw available on this motherboard view, but the five and a quarter inch drives, you go to the drive bays view and you can see the CD player and the connections that it has. So let's go back to the front of the computer and you'll notice that it's just the computer and the purpose of this lab is to give the students a little bit of an opportunity to, to play with setting up a computer. So we'll set up each of the pieces of the computer one at a time. The first thing we want to do is give the computer a place to be plugged in. So we'll grab the, the power strip and we'll drag it over here next to the power outlets. And then we'll grab the power end of that and we'll plug it into the wall. That gives us power to the power strip. The next thing we're going to want to do is plug the computer in to the power strip. So we'll go to the back view of the computer and we've opened up the shelf here and we'll see that there's an AC power cable here available. You can click on it and then use the connections at the bottom. Uh, we can go ahead and drag the AC power connector up to the, the female end to put on the computer and the male end to put into the, the power strip. So we also on the computer, we're going to want to plug in some other things. We'll go ahead while we're here and put in the network cable. You can drag that over. One thing, if you try to plug it into something that it doesn't fit, for example, the RJ11 jack here, if we try to plug the network cable in, it will give you a little error message that says, nope, that's not the right place. So just like you would in the real world, if you tried to plug it into a, the jack and it didn't fit, you would know that it's not the right one. So we'll go ahead and plug this into the computer also. And then on the computer, we're going to also need a mouse and a keyboard to be able to use this computer. So we'll drag the, com the keyboard down, plug it into one of the USB connectors on the back of the computer. We'll drag the mouse down and we'll plug it into one of the USB connectors on the, on the motherboard here. Um, and then the last thing we're going to worry, we won't worry about the printer and the speakers for, uh, just to save time, but we'll bring the monitor down. And the monitor needs to be connected also. So we'll go to the back view and we'll grab a power cable from that. You can also just drag the power cable over and try to drop it on here and it will ask you which end you want to connect. So you can connect the, the end you choose and then plug the other end into the, the power strip. We're going to want to put the DVI-D cable uh, to connect the monitor to the computer also. All right, so we've got all the pieces connected that should allow this computer to start. So we'll go ahead and flip back to the front view of the computer and we'll click on the button. And it says, hey, the computer's on now, but the monitor's not showing you anything. So we need to go to the front view of the monitor and turn on the monitor. And when we do that, you'll see the computer's booted up and in Windows 10. If we go ahead and click on the monitor, you can see that it jumps right into the, the OS view. And you can see in the OS view that we've got uh, internet access because we plugged the network into the wall. We could click on File Explorer here and bring up to see the hard drives and the files that are on this computer. It's all simulated to look just like a Windows 10 operating system. So if we click on this PC, you can see the drives. And if you go up one more level, um, here we are on the computer operating system level. If we follow the breadcrumbs back, this takes us to the view where we were building the computer and setting the computer up. If we go up one more level, you can see the entire office and see all of the computers that are in the office. And you can go to the hardware view of Office One and see that there's another computer there with another operating system. Or you can go to the Office One operating system directly and go straight into the operating system. Let's go back to the IT admin computer where we were. And you can see that this is the computer setup that we've put together. We've got the mouse and the keyboard and all of the pieces that, that you would expect to have for a computer to operate. So that gives you an idea of how interactive our labs are and the different pieces that are available to play with.